Someday, when Papa photographs Junior, he may use a small TV camera and electronic photography. His full color or black and white pictures will be recorded on a home video tape recorder. You play them back immediately without any processing or development through his regular television set. What do you wear to answer the phone? What difference does it make? None today, but tomorrow, if video phone comes, as well it might, then the world has found itself another problem. In another field, music can now be produced entirely by electronics. No known instruments are involved. Coded information is punched out. An electronic music synthesizer does the rest. This is music with a strictly electronic beat. This is a transistor. It is the tiny bombshell of the electronics revolution. What it does, simply stated, is to replace vacuum tubes in many applications. It is an essential of modern electronic circuitry. It has many advantages, small size for one, permitting miniaturization, making big things smaller. Things like pocket radios, wristwatch radios, and a coming attraction portable, battery-powered television sets. And what of the kitchen of tomorrow? There are many interpretations. This is one. Push buttons open and close refrigerator doors. No stooping. Work surfaces can be brought up to a comfortable level. And no stretching. A wave of the hand brings cabinets gliding down for easy access. Another wave will send them gliding up again. An ice maker delivers cubes, crushed ice or ice water, singly or in combination. Menus and recipes are projected on color slides on a large screen. And there are other interesting possibilities ahead. Preserving food by gamma rays instead of refrigeration. Cooking meals in 60 seconds by radio frequency. Washing dishes with ultrasonic waves, to name a few.